Okay, this is going to film my antenna, which is now on right at the top of my 60 foot tower. I've been able to fit my electric winch on so we can wind the tower up and down extremely easily. So this is from the uh, front of my house. So if we go along the uh, pavements where I live actually, this is my little road along here. That's the antenna from the front of the house. So uh, those two small ones are two meters and six meters, and the the, uh, the white one is a ten meter antenna. So we'll let's go around the back of the house and have a look at the tower itself. We'll do this in real time. going down to my back garden or well, the yard as they call as they call it in the in the States. Here we are in my back garden, quite quite sizable. There's a tower right up. If you can see that. Let's go and have a look. Right. That's my new electric winch. The good winch. On the, on the next video, we'll, we'll, we'll be operating it. This is a new winch on the tower. That's a real beauty. Absolutely fantastic it is. It winds the tower up in less than a minute. And that blue box down there is a, is a leisure battery, uh, which runs the winch. And I've got a small solar panel, which I'm going to put on a bracket on the side of the tower. And that will keep the... Um, battery charged up. That's a brilliant winch. So we'll go down the bottom of the garden and just have a look at the uh, have a look at the uh, antenna and the tower from the bottom of the garden so you can see it a bit better. Well there's my 40 meter wire antenna there running all the way up there. Well, there's John from our radio club. And there's the antenna. OptiBeam 11.5. That's 11 elements on five bands. It's uh, five elements on 10, and then three on all the rest, right down to 20. That's the Radio Structures Heavy Duty Tower. Uh, 16, te uh, no, is it 16, 16, I think that 16, 13, and 10 inches each section. I've got uh, a Yesu 2800 DXC. And there's a pigeon. And the pigeon's making a roost. Yep, I think that's okay. Yeah, Mitch on, yeah. That's cool. That's it, I think. I hope, um, yeah, I'm hoping we can all see everything all right here. We we'll just got to the tower again and have a quick look. The only problem is, is when I tilt the tower over, these trees get in the way. So I've got to chop them all. I've got to chop all these back before I do it next time. So we'll go and have another look. There's the winch. These things are quite expensive, but they take all the effort out of having to wind, wind the big antenna up manually, which is not, not, not the easiest thing in the world to do. The next winch, electric winch I want to get is to tilt the tower over. That's beautiful. You can see that's a pole over there that supports my 40 meter dipole. So there we go. Let's have a look around, I'll show you the garden. Got another, I've got another pole down the bottom of the garden that supports the, uh, the other end of the dipole. Let's 
I've had this in place for a long, long time. That's just a simple pole there. I love poles. <laughs> it's great having quite a big garden. It's the old Hustler on the floor down here. Hustler 5B TV, vertical, which I never really got on very well with, unfortunately. It's a CB antenna next to it. It's got a bit bent. Yeah. Yes, one last look. There we go. Oh, so there's my antenna system for G0 VQY. <laughs>